Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're gonna go over fungus in your lawn. This in particular is gonna be a summer fungus, which is gonna be called gray leaf spot fungus. It's most commonly found in St. Augustine grass, but you can also see it in Bermuda, centipede, rye, and fescues. But the most common turf is St. Augustine grass. I'm gonna teach you how to identify the grass and treat it. And also I'm doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So please subscribe. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna give away three bags of humic fertilizer. So make sure you're subscribed. Like the video if this helped you and let's get right into it so, so first we're gonna talk about what is gray leaf spot fungus now this is a fungus that you'll see in the summertime it leaves gray and brown lesions on your grass blades now it starts at the top of the grass blade and works its way down so you'll see most of the damage there at the tip and sometimes the whole tip being brown but the biggest indicator is the gray and brown lesions you'll see all over the grass blades Now, gray leaf spot fungus is found when the temperatures are around 77 to 86 degrees during the day and above 65 degrees at night. This fungus is most severe during rainy and humid climates, which means all the time in Florida. The fungus survives dry conditions by living in the thatch layer. So the fungus is living in the thatch layer by spores. And what happens is, is when rain and irrigation goes on, it splashes those spores onto the living grass blade. So you'll really see this fungus when you have a lot of thatch and dead grass in the lawn because that's where those spores are living in the dry temperatures. And then when it gets wet and humid, they start to spread and expand into the greener, healthier parts of the lawn. Now this fungus is very common and usually moves very slow throughout the lawn. When we get lots of rain or you have areas that have standing moisture or shady areas, they can tend to do damage to the lawn. But usually when you're mowing your lawn once a week and we're in, in pretty normal Florida conditions, you can usually mow most of the fungus away. If the fungus is fertilized or conditions are very high, which means lots of rain and lots of humidity, it can actually really start to do large damage to areas and that means that it definitely does need to be treated and these large areas can almost look like drought stress where these areas are tending to dry out because there's so many of those lesions on the grass blades and it's getting so brown and dark that it can look like the areas are drying out in large patches so make sure before fertilizing or, or seeing areas that may look like drought please make sure to look for this fungus first because fertilizing it can make it do a lot more damage and become very severe very quickly now before treating it here's some good management tips that will help reduce the chances of gray leaf spot fungus appearing in the lawn so reducing the thatch layer is very important in getting up any excess dead grass irrigating long times in less days that's always a great thing to do with for st augustine but you want long deep watering cycles less days so that way the lawn can dry out in between and always water early morning you want your last zone turning off as the sunrise is coming up don't water too late at night avoid using post-emergent weed killers while the fungus is active that can stress the grass and cause it to move a lot faster avoid medium to high levels amounts of nitrogen being applied in the lawn improve light into shady areas it's trimming trees shrubs or bushes but make sure those areas are getting light and able to dry out Make sure to mow at the proper height, which I always recommend four inches or higher, and make sure you're mowing at a proper frequency, especially around, which is about once a week in the summertime. And if you do have the fungus, it is recommended to bag those clippings. And then the last will be treating these areas with a fungicide. All right, now I'm gonna recommend four fungicides that you can use. I've used personally used all these, which is why I'm gonna recommend them. There's a lot more out there that you can use, but I'm gonna only speak from the ones I have personal experience and good success with. Now, a few main pieces of equipment that you will need. I like, I'm gonna recommend three granular and only one needs to be liquid uh, because I think granular fungicides work very well and they're a lot easier as a homeowner to apply. So you'll need either a hand spreader, a push spreader, a backpack sprayer or a hand sprayer now the first product I'm going to recommend is heritage G this will be a good granular product to apply the affected areas and to get good control the next product is going to be pillar G another good granular product you can use out of a hand spreader or push spreader which will get good treatment for fungus in st. Augustine grass 
be Headway G, and uh, all the G's after means that they're granular products, so all three of those products were granular, and all are very effective at getting control of this gray leaf spot fungus in your lawn, and I do recommend, just like with most things, is switching up the products. Don't keep using the same product again and again. Use, use a product maybe one year, switch the next year, and keep rotating. All three of those products, in my opinion, all work really well, so I don't think I prefer one over the other, maybe what you can get the best deal on, and also make sure you're rotating those products. And then the last product is Armada 50 WDG. Now this is gonna be a wettable, dry granular, so the product is very fine, and it's not supposed to be put out as a granular. You're gonna wet that and soak that into a backpack and apply the affected areas, and you wanna soak them in really nicely and really deeply. Probably, in my opinion, Armada is probably the most effective fungicide on this list. Unfortunately, you do have to mix it into liquid um, and apply out of a backpack, so it's probably the hardest to apply, but it's definitely very effective to treat these areas with fungus. Now you know how to take care of fungus in your lawn in the summertime, especially for St. Augustine grass. This is really gonna only be the summer fungus that you mainly need to deal with and worry about controlling. So now that you know how to identify it and how to treat it, you're one step closer to having an awesome lawn. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing. I'm doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway, and please make sure to like the video and comment with any questions. I always appreciate the, the support. The link's down in the below in the description for all these products and all the equipment by using my link it helps support the channel and I really appreciate it. I'm Chad with Turf Organics and everyone have a great rest of your day.